Now, with all fam we're all familiar with the health benefits of eating fruit and veg, but what if scientists could make your five a day even healthier? That's the plan at one research centre in Norwich here in England, where tomatoes are being genetically altered to include more vitamin D. Nikki Fox has the story. On the outside and on the inside, these tomatoes look and taste like any other. But in greenhouses in Norfolk, they've been bred to contain something that many lack, vitamin D. Researchers believe there's enough in four to meet an adult's daily requirement. Why tomatoes? Because it's relatively easy to do it and it wouldn't have worked in other vegetables such as broccoli or cabbage. And lots and lots of people eat tomatoes, even tomato pastes and uh, pizzas and, and ketchup. Gene editing switches individual genes on and off by snipping out a section of DNA. Doing this in the tomato means a substance can build up because the gene that stops it is turned off. It's that substance or provitamin that when exposed to light turns into vitamin D. For the first time, 76 people are testing genetically edited food in clinical trials. The tomatoes are frozen, then freeze-dried and added to soup. So what's the problem they're trying to solve? In summertime, uh, just through exposure to sunlight, we can make enough of our own vitamin D. But in wintertime, when the sun is lower, we don't get the UV rays coming through and you don't make enough of your own vitamin D and you've got to get it from a food source. Traditionally, that food source would be oily fish, eggs, but of course, a lot of those foods are not necessarily palatable to everybody. Participants wear a UV necklace to check it's the tomatoes, not the sun, giving them vitamin D. The results go straight to researchers. But it's not just tomatoes that could be changing. In two months, product developers will be able to apply to the Food Standards Agency to have their genetically edited food marketed. It's expected the first could go on sale next year. And it could mean anything from sweeter lettuces to strawberries that last longer. But some people do have concerns. There are no longer requirements to label these gene-edited, precision-bred GMOs. Now, that removes consumers' rights to know what they're buying. It makes it difficult for organic farmers who must legally keep all GMOs out of their supply chain. So the fact that they are not labeled and the fact that they are not traceable creates problems for everybody except the biotech industry. Scientists in Norwich say they do want people to know what they're eating, so we're breeding a new type of tomato. We kind of want them labelled so that consumers have a choice. And we think that this uh, variation, which gives a stripy colour, it looks a bit like a sunrise or a sunset, and it's, uh, that relates to the vitamin D content, which is because it's called the sunshine vitamin. Campaigners say genetically edited food won't be traceable if something goes wrong, but the government argues it can boost food security and improve disease resistance. It's backing the technology with a multi-million pound investment. Nikki Fox reporting there.